and Dawn. This is Hudson Vintage. Today we are looking at the costume jewelry or actually the jewelry of Bridgerton, now, mainly on the Vogue article and that was called a vinaigrette and this is at Larkspur and Hawk for $5,100 and it's really a lovely piece and then they show this is inspiration. Uh, this is a blue ribbon with a drop and for that they go straight to Etsy for $12, the Jewels Through Time Pearl Teardrop Pendant on Ribbon. Here's another example of a choker type pearl with a pendant hanging from it. And this is just a Swarovski choker of crystal. So these are vintage actual pearls that came out of a jewelry jar. They might be Mallorca, they might be fine pearls. I have to look at them a little bit more, but it would be fun, I thought, to put this pin on them. I'm gonna show you how I strung the pin. This also came out of a jar, and this is probably like old Carol Lee or Macy's or 1928, and it has that drop that is almost an exact match for some of those pictures that are in the Bridgerton thing. And what I did was, um, if you look at the back, I just, put the pin through a couple of the pearls. See that? And then it ends up laying absolutely perfectly. And you can do this with anything that you have. Um, look, isn't that wonderful? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and show you that on it as well. This example is a uh, twofer kind of because these are removable drops. These are actually Dior from the 1950s. And as an example, I actually put it on real antique carved coral. This is very, very old. So I am not promoting that anyone go out and buy coral now or forward the idea that coral is a good thing to make jewelry out of, but this is about a hundred years old. And then this is a pink, velvet ribbon and so you can see the two drops and these were meant to be interchangeable on pearls so that's what that looks like this strand of coral will actually be on the website and this comes off see that's that this pink ribbon is just a ribbon choker that i got from macy's and you can see how effective it is in um, really communicating that whole Bridgerton Regency Georgian look and it's to me this is timeless and lovely I love I love this I love the way this looks and this one is definitely my favorite this is genuine Georgian this is tiny tiny little Persian turquoise look at the shape of that pendant isn't that exquisite and this is on a either very low carat gold or gilded gold over sterling chain and the chain itself is really unique. I've never seen another chain like this and it's almost black, which I love. Actually, I'll show you on the back what has happened to the metal in the last 300 years. See the color of that? So it's so funny because when you look at black rhodium or you look at costume jewelry, you know, that has that kind of black finish or gunmetal finish, they're actually imitating what happens naturally over 300 years. <laughs> See, that's lovely. And this is also price upon request. Next up are earrings. And it's so exciting because the earrings that Vogue chose to show are mainly costume. I think there's a couple of fine jewelry earrings in there, but they're mainly costume. And I managed to pull six pairs of earrings that are genuinely antique or vintage and they are all fine jewelry. So it's really exciting. So the first pair are these Oscar de la Renta. These are $190 right now in Nordstrom. They are absolutely beautiful. They have that large pear shaped faux drop. They also showed these vintage. I love that name, vintage. These are $149 and these are gold plated and actual garnet. So these are very pretty. And then, oh, and here's the picture that uh, inspired those choices. Also, you can see the hysterical flowers on these robes. These just completely cracked me up. Uh, oh my goodness. 
And then this Annabella Chan, these are ruby and 18 karat gold. And these are from Moda Operandi and these are $1,410. These are actually really lovely. Okay, these, these are done by Oscar de la Renta and these are crystal and uh, silver tone and they're $210 right now at the Outnet. And the ones that I'm about to show you from my collection are actually Pave Diamond and White Gold. I think, here's the picture that they chose to kind of use for that. These are the first two. These are Pave Diamond and White Gold in that flower shape. And then these, these look very Regency, but these are actually vintage 1980s. These are from a line that did museum reproduction. So these are Seed Pearl and Lapis in a lever back. And then these Pave Diamond, these are probably about 20 years old and they're so beautiful. And these will be for sale next Friday for sure. I'll show you what they look like on. It's not too early to start throwing hints for Mother's Day. Just saying, I know there's a lot going on and we just got over the holidays, but if you're in the position to do it, you might as well, um, you might as well shop with people you know and love, women just like yourself, not big giant corporations. So there's, that's what they look like. Aren't they beautiful? And I believe there's kind of a left and right with these two. Yeah, these sort of curve. So I don't know if this is um, in the right side. This is what the lapis and seed pearl looks like. Oh, and I should tell you, this necklace is not for sale. This came from that estate sale that I bought. That was probably the second best one I ever had in my life. Um, the person, you know who you are, that got that fetish necklace. That was from the same collector. And this was the thing that I allowed myself to keep from her. So that's not for sale, but look how pretty these look. Aren't they lovely? Those are museum reproductions circa 1980, but they are reproductions of uh, Georgian style. Then we have these two and these are, we are being freer with the interpretation of the style. I think they're beautiful. These are crystal drops in gold. And what's amazing about these that I have never been able to get over is that they are reverse set so that the table of the gemstone is on the back side and the point is on the front. So these are just amazing. You see that from the side? Look, look, look. I don't wanna put these on because if I put them on, I'm gonna to wanna to keep them for another 20 years and I'm not gonna do that. But in the meantime, these are also museum reproduction and these are just lapis in gold with the delicate filigree work. Both this pair and the other pair is gold over sterling. So there's nothing faux about them. They're really high quality, well done. Museum reproduction, see, that's, see, that's those. And these are the last two. These are little CZ drops, little handmade, little sculptural kind of drops. They're hanging off the thing funny right now. So I'll have to show you those by holding them. And then these, these are actually Art Deco, but they could be from any time period. These are little painted Venetian glass teardrops, and those are lovely. See, now you can get a better idea of the shape of these. Aren't these great? These are made by an artist studio, and these are signed, and they're really delicate and beautiful and one of a kind. That's what they look like. And they still have some movement, even though they're not hinged. They're just attached as a drop to the wire. Um, so these are good if you're in a profession and you want a little bit of movement, but not too much. I love these. These are another, I kind of don't want to put these on and look at them because I'm going to fall in love with them again. These are Art Deco. Look at that. I'll just hold it up. Really lovely in that frosted kind of glass. Very feminine. Click this video right here if you want to see part one and subscribe, click like and ring the bell. Thank you again for watching. See you Friday.